Hello, hi, hi, hello. Um, don't be asking me no questions. I ain't, oh, that's sun. Okay, let's get out of that. Bruh. Um, hi, hi, hello, hey. Um, we about to do a real quick traffic and chat while I drive home. Fall in love with me. I introduced her to the game and let her thug with me. See me like Bunny and Clyde. She even clutching me. I feel like if she would die, she give her soul to me. She want to be close to me. Oh, she say she fuck with me the long way. She say she gon' rub my back. I had a long day. Say, baby, I ain't gon' lead you down the wrong way. Okay, so daylight savings uh, be hating on vloggers because it's 513 and it's about to get dark. I really hate that, y'all. Like, and it, every time I'm in the car, it be late. I ain't gonna be able to talk to y'all. I don't like dark videos and shit. Then the sun be out. Look how the sun just fucking my goddamn video. Oh! <laughs> okay, I just got my nails done, so let me calm down. I'm not, I don't, I, I like them. But this, I, this, uh, I don't know, this wedding color type fingernail polish uh, powder. What had happened was <laughs> my normal my normal nail dude he went on vacation for three weeks and so I had to go to my backup <laughs> and I need a full set because I literally have like three colored powders on my nail like it's ridiculous it was purple then it was pink and now in order for me to cover all that up i had to get a dark color and i didn't want black so i was like fuck it give me dark blue but it, it was giving dark bluish greenish and i don't know i didn't whatever we here i can't do nothing about it now it's already done so i had to have her put some rhinestones on it so it'll leave it won't look that bad at least, you know, I got a little razzle-dazzle on it. But anyway, um, because I'm about to be at home in a second. I just, I just wanted to come to y'all. I, I just wanted to come. <laughs> I had to think. I'm hungry. I just had to come to y'all real quick. Because I was in the nail shop. Boy, that is a disrespectful-ass window. It's just going to keep sliding down. I bet y'all I get distracted real easy. But I was in the nail shop and they was playing Dr. Phil. So I was watching Dr. Phil because it wasn't shit else for me to watch. Well, they had shit all over TVs. But like, that's not the point. Dr. Phil was on. I couldn't hear it, but I read the shit out of the motherfucking subtitles. And the episode was on Have We Lost Our Privacy? Um, public recording, like camera, caught on camera or something like that. Basically, with people taking videos of people with their phone or you taking a video of whatever you got going on with your phone, you know, all that shit that be, we, we be reacting to. But, um, and so he did a, a vote, like, on who feel like it's okay to record people in public and who feel like it's not. And most people said it wasn't. Okay, check it, right? Let me explain something to y'all real quick. We are in a new time. They know that, and that was what the premise of the, the whole show was. Like, technology is different. People are different. Phones is different. We got good camera quality. Hell, we got cell cameras in general. Hell. And the times is different. Like I said, I can't remember if it was just a Patreon. Event. No, it was on YouTube, too. Always assume you're being recorded. You're, you're being recorded. First of all, we've never had privacy. Let's be clear. But that's another conversation for another video. We never had privacy. Chill. Um, secondly, it's like cameras are everywhere. Whether somebody's recording you on their phone, whether it's street cams, store cams, dash cams, ring, ring cams, door cams. It don't matter. It's cameras everywhere. Deal with it. Okay? I Deal with it. That's just that part. Secondly, it's a gift and a curse. Social media is a gift and a curse because, of course, if you're getting recorded in public, the whole point of the show was being posted online where it lives forever, blah, blah, blah. Okay. You cut up. Again, you cut up in public, then you should assume that you're being recorded. It's called public not private you are not at home 
if you gonna be in the public or amongst the public then unfortunately yes you have to be okay with being recorded okay let me rephrase that you don't have to be okay with being recorded but you have to accept the fact that you could be being recorded because some people not okay with it and that's fine that's fine but you have to accept it i I don't care record me shit if you gonna do it at least tell me you doing it so i can look because i know not to do stupid shit in fucking public and even if i do do stupid shit in public or if i cut up i act out i cause a scene and i'm somebody recording me bitch record me oh well shit i'm cutting up in public when you go in public that's just something you have to deal with now i know it's hard for us well i'm gonna say more like 80s 70s 80s babies 90s babies too just because we didn't have phones like that and then i came from a sheltered household so i didn't get my first phone till i was 14 like i wasn't even allowed to have a cell phone until later like people had cell phones way earlier than i did that was the same age as me but my mama was like hell no fuck no you finna get this basic ass flip i don't even think i got a decent phone until fucking college but because i remember when that iphone 3 came out i was still in high school and my mom would not give me that hoe damn niggas didn't even have unlimited text messaging you had to call on nights and weekends but anyway that's the past um fuck a camera we wasn't taking no pictures baby i had a digital camera back in the day i ain't had no damn cell phone camera then you got to assume that's happening too and then you also have to think about people like me who are vloggers if uh, you do something stupid and it's gonna give me some content you best believe i'm gonna record it i'm gonna record it now if it's something i feel like may be like embarrassing or something because there were two situations on the show one situation the girl actually recorded her assault it was a it was a black girl and the karen was assaulting her and she was recording it so she caught her assault on camera and then gave it to i guess she posted it online a dude got a hold of it to identify who it was because she was actually like pressing like real charges identify who it was and then got a name once somebody put a name to some shit baby it's gonna be all over the place your life gonna be ruined yo you finna lose your job everything and that was another point they was making like how far is too far like he dr phil was like do you feel like you got justice or like what about her life like do you feel like you ruined her life? And the lady, without saying it, pretty much what she wanted to say was, fuck that bitch life. She assaulted me. The cops ain't doing shit about it. So what the fuck I care for? Like, her, and she's out, but what she said was, justice hasn't been served enough. But what she had wanted to say was, fuck that bitch. You hit me. You assaulted me in some way. So I don't give a fuck about you or your life. Like, that's what she wanted to say. I boy, I told y'all I respect well put together black people that handle situations like that real calm, like because I mm, mm. <laughs> and she was in a restaurant and like the lady was fucking with her, she was with a dude or a husband or something. Baby, you ain't finna put your hands on me or my phone because I'm finna whoop your ass. But that's neither here nor there. Um, there was also a rebuttal. Um, cause there was a attorney, a defense attorney there who was, who don't agree with it because he talking about like, leave it to the law and the district attorney and they have people for that, blah, blah, blah. I guess they kind of looking at it like vigilante justice type shit. When you record somebody, then put it on the internet. I'm just like, yeah, justice and law enforcement don't really give two fucks about us, especially POCs. So yeah no i can't agree with that one um the second scenario was a girl who was on a train and it went viral so y'all probably know the video she was on the train and somebody recorded her and said she had monkey pox and they posted it but she has a skin condition so she was like real hurt about it and so that was a they gave a scenario where being recorded in public can be hurtful First, it was, okay, this helpful, but then now it's like, okay, but it could be hurtful, too, because now this girl is going through all these mental and emotional issues because you, like, literally just put her on social media and said she had monkeypox at a time like this. First of all, that's some fucked up shit. Because 
I don't really know what to compare it to, but that's like somebody posting like, okay, my eczema. Like, I have really bad hand eczema. I don't know if y'all can see. It look, it look good on this camera because that's how good the quality of the camera is. But my skin is torn open right here. And upon approach, if you see me in person, my hands are very, very black. And they, they dry, they scaly, the pen skilling coming off to the point where one of my babies, my guy babies, who shall re remain nameless. But if her mama see this, she gonna know. She was like, Randa, why are your hands dirty? That's how black my hands are because of my eczema. That's just like somebody recording me and then saying I got some shit that's, you know, whatever. I don't know. I can't think of nothing that will make the world afraid right now other than COVID and monkeypox. But I understand where she coming from. I'm not sensitive like that, but I understand where she coming from. That shit fucked up. Like, she probably had to deal with that shit for real. But... I guess I'm just not. I just don't be giving a damn about what people say about me, bitch. Whatever you saying about me, I done said about. I didn't said it. it. I it's said. <laughs> I've talked about myself, so whatever the fuck you gotta say about me ain't gonna hurt my feelings either way. But I get the point though, cause she was probably like suicidal, dealing with mental health. Cause I couldn't. Again, I can't hear. I'm trying to read the subtitles fast as shit. So, I, I know she dealt with mental health issues. And then cyberbullying is a thing. Y'all people, like, really be committing suicide. So, it's like, sometimes that shit fucked up. And then, another point, basically, I'm on both sides of the fence if we haven't come to that conclusion. Sorry, I'm all over the place because, for one, I got a headache. Two, I'm hungry. And I'm trying to hurry up because it's about to get dark. But, um, oh, shit, don't be, don't be walking up like that. Um, on the other side of it, it's like I agree because also when people be recording shit and posting it, they don't be posting the whole thing. It's very deceiving. I don't even like social media. I just had to throw that out there. It's very deceiving because they don't post the whole video. Because if y'all knew how much footage I actually had, okay, well, videos like this or reaction videos like videos where I don't have to edit as much that's different but some of my videos really be like damn near an hour long especially if I keep the camera rolling that's not the full video y'all know how much YouTubers and shit us we we cut this shit up we chop it up we edit it we y'all see what we want y'all to see it's just that I happen to be the lazy motherfucker that don't like editing that much but y'all see what we want y'all to see so, the same goes for when people are recording and posting these viral videos. Y'all don't see the whole video. Like, how you know that's the whole video? You don't know if that's the whole video. Even if you go to YouTube and it say full video, you still don't know if that's the full video. Because unless it was posted by the original recorder or creator of the video, how you know it's full video? All you did was take that off of the media, media to put it on the media and say full video. Like, where did you get this footage? Did you get it from the person who recorded it? If you didn't get it from the actual person who recorded it, fuck that, not even get it, because they might not even send you the full video. If you not the person that actually recorded it and then uploaded it, I don't want to hear it. And it still might not true, be true, because I'm still, I, I might cut it. You see what I'm saying? It's never the full video. <laughs> Like, it's always going to be something missing, whether it's the beginning, the end, the middle. It's chopped up. Like, so the shit don't be true half the time anyway. And that's another uh, point that the attorney made that I had to agree with. This shirt big as hell and it's bothering the fuck out of me. God. Damn. What is this, a large? My bad, y'all. Fucking Target shirt. Anyway. That's another thing I had to agree with the on with the attorney on is that you don't know you don't see the full thing so you don't know the full truth. So you're basically attacking somebody or making you know threats or people losing their jobs like shit be happening as a result of that based on something that you just saw on the internet. You don't know how accurate it is. Basically the shit can't be trusted. I agree with that part. But Again, like I said, you gonna be recorded if you in public, public, not 
private. So you can't ask, do we still have privacy? Because how you have privacy in public? Is it me? Am I the problem? Am I? Because I'm confused. I, I didn't know. I don't even feel like I, I got. Pri you ain't got privacy in the fitting room, in the bathroom. Somebody, somebody always in there. <laughs> like it's public for a reason. The fuck? That shit sent me. But and also in the case of the first lady or the first girl, you can get you can catch an assault on camera. Hell, you can catch a crime on camera. A I, I, I fucking how y'all think we saw all got to see all these police shootings and stuff. Think about George Floyd. What would have happened if we ain't had it on video? Like it, the videos are sad. I don't like watching them. Like it took a lot out of me to watch that George Floyd video, and I think I only watched it in the documentary, like bits and pieces. But if we wouldn't be as aware of police brutality without these videos, this shit been happening. Been this ain't no new shit. It's just that now we actually have footage because people have phones and people have cameras and shit like that. So like I said, it's a gift and a curse. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. I can take this video and record something productive or something like, you know, like I normally do, vlog and shit, talk to y'all because I'm the shit. But I can take my video and do that, which is positive, or I can take it and be malicious. It's a gift and a curse. It just depends on what who that person is as a person and what, what's going on in that situation. So I just I was looking at it and I was like, damn, that's a good ass topic. That's a good question and that's a good topic. No, nah, we ain't got privacy no more. But I feel like we never had it to begin with. Because whether it's a camera around or not, anything you do in public is public. If you don't want nobody to know about it, do it in private. Say, for instance, and y'all got to join the Patreon because I got to, I, I, that's where my story time's going to go. So if you want a story time, if you want some of the juicy details of my life, you're going to have to join the Patreon. I'm sorry, I ain't, I ain't doing it on YouTube. I got to save something for Patreon. But that's just like, you know, when I used to be a hoe back in the day and I'd be fucking around at school and shit, hiding in the motherfucking stairwells or something, I was doing it in public, so I knew I was going to get caught. I knew what the fuck I was doing. They got cameras and shit. I knew at any moment a kid could walk through the motherfucking door and catch me in the stairwell. I knew that. I was taking risks. <laughs> like, somebody could have caught me. I'm caught. I know I'm doing this in public. I'm very well aware that I'm fucking in public. Like, <laughs> damn, I was bad. Ooh, Lord. Yeah, y'all got to join the Patreon, baby, because I got some stories for y'all. I just thought about another one. Really, I just thought about two more. But anyway, if you do it in public, but you get recorded, don't do shit in public you don't want nobody to see. Okay, don't, don't do nothing in public you don't want nobody to see. I always assume you being recorded they talking about we need to figure out where to draw the line. We ain't drawing no line. Ain't no line. The line not being drawn. Because you can't stop people. You can't put a limit on it. You can make the shit illegal. People still gonna do it. So it don't fucking matter. It ain't even no point in drawing no goddamn line. I'm sorry people are getting hurt by it. But at the same time, it's helpful. So, I mean, what y'all think? Like, what y'all think? Ultimately, like, what's y'all opinion? How y'all feel about it? Me, I'm on both sides of the fence, but, I mean, I'm okay with it because you have to be okay with it if you want to live in this world. Which, what, I mean, what's being mad about it going to do? What's, what's, what is that going to do? That ain't going to solve shit. So, I mean, how y'all feel about it? It could just be me, but, and then I'm a vlogger, so I might be a little bit biased, but the, you know, the crazy part is, though, even as a vlogger, Y'all know I hate vlogging in public. I don't like vlogging in public because I don't like putting people on my camera because I don't know how they feel about it. Like, they might not be comfortable about it or comfortable with it. So, I actually, for me to be a vlogger, still don't even uh, do that. Oh, Lord, here comes Shane in that loud-ass truck, y'all. But let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to join the Patreon. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.